Hi, I'm Titlini Hahn and this is my busy garden. Welcome to the first of my video logs. It's January the 2nd, it's a beautiful sunny day. It's a bit chilly, but I'm wrapped up nice and warm. I want to say right at the beginning that I'm not a gardening expert, okay? Everything I know about gardening is contained in this book on page 62, paragraph three. Well, actually I know it's in paragraph four as well, but the point is please don't send me your gardening problem because the answer will always be the same. Do what I do. Google it! But that doesn't stop me sharing my garden with you. And maybe you know more about gardening than I do, and maybe you can help me. Maybe you have a friend who knows more about gardening. Get them to subscribe and join in the fun. So maybe the first thing we ought to do is to give you an overview of my garden. I've come up to roof level, so it's a good job we live in a bungalow, to give you a bird's eye view of what the garden actually looks like. The garden is almost perfectly south-facing, so I'll start in the east and work round. In the foreground there's a bird cherry tree, which doesn't give edible cherries, but behind that there's what I call the wildflower garden. Some beautiful flowers in there in the summer and autumn. Moving round, there's my big cooking apple tree. I'll get some nice big brownie apples from that. At the back, there's a border which gives some lovely daffodils in the spring. Look forward to that. And as we move round the lawn, there's a border here, which has got all sorts of things in it, but the tree is called a medlar tree. Never heard of one before. We'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. Then continuing to move west, we have the fruit garden. And there's all sorts of things in there, strawberries, blackcurrants, raspberries. And I'll share that with you in a moment. And then finally, you can just see my greenhouse. Over here I've got my cooking apple tree and it's got lots of buds on it already but it does need a prune this winter ready for the spring and the summer. My husband loves the idea of feeding birds but without too much effort. I mean quite frankly would you want to eat that if you were a bird? Or maybe you might be interested in these black and mouldy peanuts. I don't think so. So let's get the new year off to a good start by cleaning these out. This is the border in the middle of the lawn and it does need a weed and I'll do that sometime during the coming week but I wanted to show you this medlar tree. It's got these really funky fruits called medlar fruits which actually need picking. I have absolutely no idea what you're supposed to do with these or whether they're edible so if you happen to know please tell me. I've picked about two pounds of these and they're quite soft so if you know what to do with them please tell me. This is a line of apple trees um, which produce quite a few apples. They're all eating apples and some of them are absolutely fabulous. And as you can see there's loads of buds on these too so I'm looking forward to more apples next year. Now over here on the other side of the greenhouse I've got two raised beds which I used to try and grow some vegetables last year. I tried growing carrots. The snails ate them. Spinach. They bolted in the hot weather we had here in April. Broccoli. They just bolted. Cauliflower. They were fine, except the cat was digging everywhere and spread them all over the garden. I've no idea which were cauliflower. And leeks, which were a marginal success. These are leeks from my garden. But this year I'm going to try and do things a little bit differently, so hopefully you'll be able to watch me have some success at least. Here there's a plum tree which I planted last year. However, there's a terrorist in my garden. He's small, he's black, he's furry, and he goes by the name of Cat. So the first job this year, apart from picking the medlar fruit, is going to be to put some anti-terrorism measures around my plum tree. There we are. Hopefully that'll stop him using my plum tree as a scratching post. He's got plenty of others. Over here near to the plum tree, I've got two raised beds filled with fruit. The one on the left has strawberry plants in it, while this one on the right has blueberry bushes, two of them. I planted these last year and they've got buds on. A gooseberry bush, which I transplanted, and I don't know whether it survived, so we'll see what happens in the spring. 
I've got some wild strawberries and then a couple of blackcurrant bushes at the back. All of these need pruning and I'll be doing this next week. Then finally we've got Soft Fruit City. This place was an absolute jungle last year but I've sorted all the plants out and now there are raspberry canes, blackberry canes, jostaberries, tayberries. Some of the raspberry canes have already got shoots and buds on but they need their first ever prune since I've been here anyway. So if you've got any tips for me on how to prune these things, please let me know. Last year I grew quite a lot of chilies in the greenhouse and the plants have all gone bar from one and I'll talk about that in a minute. Now these two trays were where I planted some parsnip seeds last autumn and they were doing great until the terrorists got in here and decided to use them as a bed. Still, I've learnt my lesson and he's not coming back in here again. Now there's one chilli plant that seems to be thriving despite the frost that we've had and it's even got a little pepper on it. I'm intrigued by this plant so I'm going to keep the seeds from this and see if I can grow more like this next year. Over here are the grow bags that I used to grow some capsicum peppers with which I made a delicious capsicum pickle last year. I'll keep the compost out the bags and use it on the raised beds later. So this year I'm hoping to grow more chilies, some more capsicums and hopefully some tomatoes as well. It may be January the 2nd, but that doesn't mean to say there's no colour in my garden. This to me looks like some kind of freesia, but if you know different, please let me know. And then there are these pretty flowers. They seem to be self-seeding and are growing everywhere in my garden. If you know what they are, or got any tips about them, please let me know. And finally, I do know what this is. This is a little patch of heather that's growing in the border next to the medlar tree. So what have we learnt today? Well, first of all, there's a lot of stuff in my garden which keeps me busy. Secondly, it may be January, but that doesn't mean to say the garden's dead. Thirdly, most importantly perhaps, is that gardening is not a sedate pastime. It's a war on terror! Birds, slugs, snails, the cat. Oh yes, he may look cute in his basket now, but looks can be very deceptive. So next week I'm going to do some pruning. I'll be pruning the fruit trees and the roses. So if you've got any tips you want to share with me, please do so. And join me next time, next week, in Titley's Busy Garden. Music